I think I got cut off there in the middle of my uh, you know, speech. Uh, what I was going to say was, I was explained by a doctor, I think it was a consultant psychologist that originally said this to me, actually, it was that uh, a long time ago, about 15 years ago, when talking about different terms. So, well, they got psychosis, neurosis. And when somebody's told they've had, like, say, um, a psychiatric breakdown, a nervous breakdown, yeah, basically, psychiatric's a general term, and stuff like psychotic and neurotic are the detailed specific terms for symptoms within that main breakdown that they've had like that's if they just have a breakdown and it's not part of a bigger condition at the time and obviously they, they watch people and wait and see if they develop any other things later in the life but say you have a first what they call episode when you're 20 or 23 or 18 whatever age it is that's the sort of prime time sort of 16 to 25 years old for men and women slightly different for men to women i think women it's something like 18 to 22 17 to 22 and then men it's slightly tiny bit older i think it's something like 17 or 18 up to not that 18 19 up to about 25 and they're sort of prime time at that age that they're gonna maybe fall ill with the first episode of depression or mania and have a major episode when they're very young this is if they've got all the factors and and they have something happen and suddenly have a breakdown in their early 20s or in their late teens um it's quite different to like say having anorexia or depression or these other things when you're a younger teen but like sort of had it explained to me that that's you know if it's a triggering off of bipolar some people who have schizophrenia and some people have other just like one-off breakdowns or quite different illnesses the one thing they have is psychiatric is the term for the general feeling and psychotic is the really specific term for this set of symptoms that i've just described now what i read recently is that psychoses will go eventually as long as the person is kept safe and isn't doing any harm to themselves or others, the symptoms of psychosis, once they sleep, is the main thing, and are in a place of safety or somewhere they can, like, if they're with family or whatever, the, the, the natural symptoms of psychosis don't last forever. They, are, they can be fairly short-lived. And within about three to four months, often that would have got better by itself. That actual psychosis leaves, you know, it goes. Some of the delusional beliefs depart. They don't, they cease to have the sort of auditory and visual hallucinations that they might have been experiencing, hearing voices, seeing things that aren't there. Or they might not have had those, but any, any sort of problems with sleep disturbance, that those things start to go naturally. They don't need medication for it. But but actually, if they give them medications at that time, that's supposed to make it all go quicker. So that's why you have a group of drugs called uh, medical drugs called antipsychotics, and people are very put off by the name, and they've actually changed them recently to antimanics. Is a wider group of drugs because they don't like to say antipsychotic because people think the word means you're being psychotic with the drugs that are get you to stop being psychotic. So it's really got a really bad connotation to this word psychotic. And so what they do is they call them anti-manic to make it slightly more palatable for like the parents, carers and users.